What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, and we are starting a new show. I am very excited. Well, I'll get into that in just a second. It's not really a new show, but this is going to be replacing Kaguya Summit Love is War. This is Assassination Classroom. Now, like I was just saying a second ago, I have seen the first season of Assassination Classroom many, many, many years ago, which it was totally back when I was in high school, so it had to have been a very long time ago. But with that being said, I don't remember pretty much any major plot lines, story threads, or details about the first season, because that's the only one I've seen. The only thing I really remember is that the teacher's name is Koro Sensei. There's a character that somewhat looks like a girl, and I've only seen that because of memes, where it's like Haku from Naruto and then this person. And I know their goal is to kill their teacher. I don't know why i don't know the circumstances i don't remember how he gets there anything like that i have no idea how it ends or anything that happens in season two so i do have somewhat of a background but it is so little that i really thoroughly don't count it so i hope you guys are cool with that i'm very very excited for this like i said i didn't even mention but with the first and last episode of every season of every show we put on the channel the full length version which is normally a patreon exclusive is available for free for everyone so click the link in the top of the description come back here for the review when you're done and if you do enjoy that consider checking out that patreon so you guys can keep that for the rest of the shows for the rest of the episodes of this show it's a great benefit over there other than that don't forget to subscribe click that bell all that jazz i've stalled you guys long enough let's hop right on into this i am excited assassination classroom episodes one and two the first one is called assassination time okay all right Class 3E. Assassination. Class 3E. What is... Either a fighter jet or Goku just landed in the front yard. Okay, I'm assuming this is based off the slimy sounds that I'm hearing in the background. This has to be Koro-sensei. He's gonna be like, hi guys! Hey, he oh, his voice. Oh... Okay, we're starting off hot. I thought it was more like assassination as in like stealthily. Oh. Yeah, I can barely even hear him with all this super loud gunfire going on right now. So it's just a normal routine. This is what they do. Okay, I gotta get reused to this, I guess. Because that kind of hit me by surprise. Okay, obviously, he's insanely fast. We just saw him dodge. I First off, I don't even know how he was able to... It was literally a flurry of bullets. I'm not even going to talk about that. Can you guys explain to me? I know jets go into the Mach system because they break the sound barrier. How fast is Mach 20? I know some of you guys are insanely smart out there and have that number or some sort of equation to get that. How fast is that? Is that insane? It sounds insane. And the fact that it's actually listed is insane. Like, I never would expect, like, someone like Naruto or anything to ever say how actual fast they are, you know? I was wondering why the shots were, like, labeled. Okay. Oh, that's why. That's actually smart. So there's no danger to the students besides little pain. I actually had to like think about like make sure I'm on episode one because they just kind of jump into this like no hesitation. It's not my favorite song, I won't lie to you, but I'm really liking the visuals. I don't remember the show being like this. I'm quite shook. I thought it would be much slower of a start. Like, not literally just jumping right into it. So, Nagisa is a boy that looks like a... Can be confused as a girl. That's... I have to remember that. Ooh. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. So what if, if he's like an actual threat to the earth, I didn't think he was, then why are we having kids deal with him? Understood. But why us? 
月を壊したこの生物は来年の3月地球をも Come March next year 暗殺だだがこいつはとにかく早い And... 殺すどころか He's like trimming his eyebrows. <laughs> He's grooming your eyebrows, literally. Yeah, why? If he's, if this is the only spot he's willing to voluntarily be at, he caught that with chalk. Yeah, I mean, I guess it makes sense. So, out of the blue, he blows up the moon. See, I knew he was their teacher and I knew their goal was to kill him, but I didn't remember why and I didn't remember the circumstances at all. He blows up the moon, says next March, I need to know what month it is now because it must have been at least a few weeks, few days uh, since that incident. Next March, he's blowing up the earth. But instead of the government constantly trying to kill him he is willing to teach this class upon the condition of not harming any of the students in the government school because they can watch him and also this is the only spot where he's willingly able to be so 30 people have the golden opportunity to try and assassinate him i completely understand that but now i guess all my motivations because it was just on the government but now it's lies on koro he says he was born on earth he grew up on earth why does he want to teach the school why does the school look run down as shit were they assassins before this, or did, did they? Holy shit, you did technically. Now that's the motivation. Not even your family and friends. I mean, it is a state secret, okay? So I guess now that's my number one question is the classroom dynamic is how can you want to learn and be passionate about learning from someone who technically is your enemy, you know? <laughs> that's like Omni-Man from Invincible. He's like, I'll go to Italy, get some fresh pizza, you know? So he's a good teacher. That would be so weird. Like, I'm just trying to picture me getting taught. To... Striped green when he's feeling confident. They did say he was looking down on him earlier. <laughs> Wrong answer, dark purple. Right answer, bright scarlet. They miss the misfits. So it's like D class in Classroom of the Elite. The N class, E. So the rest of the school is at a new campus. Meanwhile, only the E class is at the old campus, like an isolated, forgotten. Okay. So then why does the teacher, Koro Sensei, want to teach this N class, E class, you know? Wow. So it's like that, yeah. And he's back. He is so fast. Uh, we have some self-esteem, some insecurity issues. Is that, is that his dad? No way, right? That has to be his teacher at the old campus because of evaluation? Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, if no one else can see you, that hope Koro can either. That's a sad bar. That's a very sad bar. Oh, see? This is one of the only things I knew, technically, spoiler-wise. <laughs> that's what I, I mean, of any of the observations, that's what I would assume as well. Like, this would be the time he'd be most vulnerable, but I do love how he literally wears his emotions on his sleeve, and you can actually see him, you know? My only thing is, oh, I pause it at the craziest time. I don't want to pause it for long, because I know he's about to go ham. My only thing is, when it comes to characters like The Flash, like I'm assuming Koro Sensei, and other characters that can move at this godlike speed, we've seen it multiple times, whether it's Quicksilver, and when they go to those POV shots of them and their perception of the world, because they're able to move so fast, their brain perceives the world so much slower. So even if you're catching them at their most vulnerable, like this, going as fast as you can, to him, I'd assume, I can't say for certain, but I'd assume it's like, 
you know, like you get my point, but I'm just like, how do you jump that? You know, there's like no way to get an advantage on something like that. Be more inventive. Oh, a suit self deprecation or self harm like a suicide kamikaze bomber is not something anyone would expect so that was actually a good play yeah coral protected him did he shed okay you gotta you gotta think i like that he has a once monthly ace in the hole he was so fast he shed it covered him and hit up there on the roof. Oh, putting your classmates in danger is an, is a no bueno. How do you deal with that, bro? That was so cool. What, your family members? Your friends? Your family? Something tells me he's serious, and I don't know if it's the fucking monstrous face he has or what. I mean, that, yeah, I agree. The plan itself was a great plan, because it was just so dangerous, you know? Is that little self-regard for himself. <sighs> like, that's our goal. To make students good enough to be assass assassins, you know? I, I guess that is our goal. What? Is this Koro's actual form? Ooh, I know there's going to be a good story there when we finally do get that flashback. Talk about a first episode. I don't, I don't know if that's what I was expecting out of Nagisa. I thought he was going to say might accept me as a student or something like that. My bloodlust? Is that... Is Koro mean like unkillable or something? It's us and Koro in our assassination classroom. Another day, another class bell rings. I like it. Talk about a net first. Talk about a start, you know? I love the time lapse style of like drawing. Super simplistic art. Super fits the classroom style vibes, you know? Okay, talk about a start. All right, on to episode two. This one is called Baseball Time. Let's do it. Oh, enjoying a nice drink. I mean, that's all they would talk about, you know? <laughs> the moon blowing up. I love the teamwork we're going to have. Sugino, new care, okay. Oh, baseball or a, a, a BB infused baseball. He's probably a pitcher. The fastball. That's so crazy. True. Definitely lower noise, but the speed is so much slower. I had time to kill. And he caught it. He had time to kill. I love this dude. See, this sounds morbid, sounds so dark, but I would love to have a shot at trying to come up with a way to see if I can outsmart him to kill him, you know? Grab the drawing of him, Sugaya. <laughs> It's going to be a long time before I get all the names down, guys. So I apologize ahead of time if I get any of them wrong. You got to see the Yankees or who are we seeing? Imagine if he gets you food from across the world and it's still hot when he gets it from you. you know? Snacks would be good. Pizza? New York style pizza? Okay. Relax there, buddy. Yeah, we're 14. You're the government. You guys all have master's degrees. We're 12. Okay, don't hate on yourselves that much, guys. Come on. 
I feel like I recognize Karasuma's voice actor. What is that disguise? Look at all their faces. Like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, I can't even picture the amount of damage he could do if he wanted to do some damage, you know? Like, I know he's saying he'll blow up this, the earth and he blew up the moon, but imagine what he could do to actual people. I need to know that as well. Great question. Fair question as well. Man, Sugina is, Sugino is down in the dumps. Oh, that's nice of Koro Sensei. Is that a coconut? Oh my god, that's fresh as shit. Do they have a baseball club? I was about to say, E class? Yeah, it used to be, makes way more sense. That makes sense, and that also sad. I love how much Japanese culture puts into extracurriculars and clubs. Like, they're so good for you, whether it's social, athletics, you know. Damn. Feels like I'm watching a fucking baseball sports show now, you know? Please, get some advice. Uh-huh. Yeah, if someone walked in on me and they saw this, they'd think I'm watching something else. He knows who he's copying? Okay, Mr. Expert. He can get a physical comp composition of your body just by feeling it with his tentacles? You're gonna have a different style. I think he's saying that for a different reason, though. Like, you're going to have your own style of pitching. You're not going to be quite like him. Okay. Well, then he... Okay. <laughs> Shouts out Arita, the baseball player. Your elbows and wrists are more flexible, so you're going to have a different style. Tentacles never lie. I'm going to start saying that, guys. Facts. Don't try to copy someone else. Find what fits for you. I wonder what that means in a pitching sense. Like, does that mean you'll be able to, like, flick it harder? Do, like, curveballs and shit? I need to watch Ace of Diamond. I really do. That's why he went to New York? Oh, that's kind of dope. So I just assume he's going to have fun, goes to Hawaii, goes to China, a couple, you know, the, you know, all the places. But because Sugino threw that at him and he could tell based off his form that he was copying him, he went to go test his body, went to go test then uh, Sugino's body and then compare him. And to, that's a talk about a great teacher already. Are you serious? Like, I swear it's like some seven deadly sin shit. It's like Meliodas. Ninety-six, great job. It went down a lot more, it dropped. Curveball. See, that's what I was thinking. It's the flick. It's the flick. Shouts out to Sugino. See, I could Loki have an episode like this personalized for every character in the, uh, every student in the class. And I'd, be, I'd be cool with that. I know it's going to get a lot deeper than that, but I like that. Making shaved ice? This dude is living it up with the food. <laughs> okay, guys, stop this. I know you. <laughs> talk about talk about a play. I knew this was coming and it's still fucking creepy. He even put his little cherry flavoring on top. <laughs> I know. The, their dynamics class uh, student teacher is so funny. So far, I like her too. She's the one who came out, came up with the name Koro Sensei. 
になるかと思ってでその百戦役に立つの<laughs> also likes to gina as well three meters <laughs> Hey, we we gotta start somewhere. I can tell I'm gonna have a fun ass time with this show. Are we gonna see the other campus? I didn't think we would see them at all. Oh, nice. I'm gonna look up the voice actors for the show after this episode. Why are they making him so mysterious? <laughs> Damn. Reputation of going there is horrible. Truly is the end class. Inspires the others. I didn't even think about it like that, but that is exactly what's happening. It's horrible, but it is working. So he's from is looking at this from an outside perspective. I think I'm gonna like Karasuma a lot. I'm I think I'm gonna like him a lot, and I like his voice actor. Bro, that was loud as shit. It scared me. True. Being tied up to a tree, like come on, guys. Yeah, I mean. Oh, get him now, guys. <laughs> oh. When he shows off, things get shaky. That is one of the points. That's what I'm saying. They actually might. That was probably the closest we've seen so far. Oh, that's dirty. I don't know exactly how much time we have. I think less than a year, obviously. I hope more than like eight months, but we can definitely make some considerable progress. Take out my boy. Yeah, that's a good point. The liveliest students at the school in general are the end class who are the only ones who know about the threat of imminent death and have an impossible task in front of them. Yet they're the happiest. Oh, we have a bad student who's suspended right now who will be going back. To kill someone? Okay, maybe this guy should stay suspended. Are we are we cool with this? Look at the what the look at his eyes. What the hell? Talk about a start to a show. Assassination classroom. Okay. So already getting a couple of teases at the Koro Sensei reasoning and story. There's a he was had some crazy form. Like it looked like I'm assuming his original form, something along those lines. And a woman that he thoroughly cared about in some fashion, he made a promise to to teach these kids. And so that's what he's doing. Did he kill or did he blow up the moon after she died in rage or was it before that? Did, did he cause her death? I need to know the circumstances all around that. See, now I'm so dead ass 100% on everything I love serious with you guys. When I say I did, did not remember the moon or the earth at all. I just knew that their goal was to kill him. And I'm very shocked that this is what's going on. I do need to look up the voice actor, at least for Mr. Karasuma, because I am very curious. Okay, so I'm looking at some of the voice actors and it looks like I can recognize Koro Sensei from a number of roles, whether it be Finral, which I totally recognize. The voice is damn near the exact same. King from Seven Deadly Sins. He's Joker in Persona 5. He, he He's a few characters. I think he's Leon from Seven or er, uh, Reincarnated as the Slime. A number of characters for Koro. Awesome. And for Mr. Karasuma, he's Gyome from Demon Slayer. Totally recognize. Who else is he that I'm recognizing those more? Oh, uh, Gintoki. Absolutely recognize. What's his name from? Uh, oh, what? How am I literally blanking on that show? God of High School. I recognize him from a lot of characters. And then I looked up Nagisa. Recognize him from Kawakami from Persona 5. 
uh other her i should say other than that not much but i am gonna have a fantastic time with this show i can already tell the ingenuity when it comes to the assassination attempts are gonna be super fun how they relate to the characters and the kids themselves and how that relates to koro and teaching i already know is gonna be great character development is gonna be great music gonna be fire it's gonna be a good time Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for the full uncuts, early access, up to four episodes. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.